for another uh, fishing adventure today. Um, going to head out to a, a steelhead river that I've fished uh, many times and but haven't done it lately. The weather hasn't been cooperating, lots of high water, uh, snow, cold weather. So looks like a bit of a break, uh, not going to be ideal conditions, still lots of snow out there but at least the temperatures have warmed up and yeah, going to go in and uh, even uh, float the river so that could be a bit of an adventure and uh, these kinds of temperatures probably be sitting around maybe minus three to zero degrees throughout the day so that should uh, it's you know relatively warm I guess but still uh, still gonna be cold so um, yeah see how that goes so gonna be targeting uh, steelhead um, hitting uh, you know probably I don't know 30 runs uh, throughout the day and uh, you know, I find this time of year they tend to stack up a little bit more in, in some of the runs so when you do find them you can usually get multiple fish and, and yeah it'll be good to get out and get the fly rod out and start swinging and, and uh, hopefully get into some, some nice fish um, out there. So yeah it, uh, it's definitely going to be, uh, be an adventure, a winter wonderland out there I imagine. Uh, still got a little bit of a drive here to go to get there. But uh, you know the excitement builds as you get closer and closer, wondering what the river is going to look like. Is it even fishable? Who knows? This may be a uh, total write-off and uh, maybe covered in ice. Maybe uh, you know, maybe uh, blown out. Uh, who knows? What? Uh, but that's what you got to do this time of year. You got to head out there, have a look, and uh, see what it looks like before you uh, get your game plan going. So, should be a good day. fish of the day. Uh, I kind of had a feeling I'd uh, get one here so I set up the GoPro, let it run, hopefully get the take and had a few tap tap taps um, as it was coming through. So two uh, previous to the hookup, I could feel just those light taps, they wouldn't uh, wouldn't commit and then that time finally pulled the trigger. It's tough sometimes. When do you pull the trigger or when do you set that hook? That time it worked out all right. Sometimes you pull it and, uh, and you miss them but that one kept coming back uh, over and over which was kind of nice. Um, went to, uh, one of my uh, tried and true uh, flies, uh, this little orange uh, red kind of ditty, uh, those of you that have watched any other of my videos know that I do like red flies, it looks a lot better when it's actually in the water, it's got a little bit of um, flash in it as well, so yeah, gonna uh, you know, just do the interview here, uh, let it rest for a bit. And, uh, get back out there and see if I can get another one in here. It's one of the bigger pools in this section that uh, deeper sections and uh, so yeah I would imagine now winter uh, coming on that a few more fish are starting to hold up in here so I would be surprised if I got another one in there. I 